basically I just I just try to concentrate on what I'm doing and just go out there and get the job done. You give up a lot of things to ride your bike, but that's because we love it and that's something I chose to do. The favorite place to ride would probably be San Jose, back at home with all my friends that I started riding with. Just, I mean, nothing beats that, you know, riding with, you know, the guys that you know best, you know their style and they know you, and it's just, you know, just fully comfortable and that's when the, the ride of stuff happens because it's such a laid back session, you know, no cameras, no nothing, just go out there and ride and have some fun. competition I try to stay focused and just try to concentrate on what's going on and what's around me and what everybody else is doing and just try to make sure that I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. If somebody rides good you want to go out and ride good also and you want to ride a way to please yourself not to, to necessarily beat somebody you know. That'd be like kind of going out and duplicating the other guys run like DMX or freestyle is more of like a creative sport you go out there and do what you want to do and they judge you on that.
I definitely think the sort will get bigger. It's just now starting to catch on with TV and everything and, you know, like different audience starting to see it and, you know, getting involved and getting psyched on it and stuff and just all the tours going around with the contests and stuff. People get to go out to, their, you know, the major cities and check out the action. I think that's only going to help it and I definitely think it's going to grow in the future. These last couple of years, I've, I've been I've been very fortunate, and I've had a lot of support from my family. And uh, contest went awesome, and I don't know. I'm pretty very very psyched about the last couple of years, and just gonna try to keep riding. The X Games are gonna be pretty crazy. It's gonna be in San Francisco, so my family, my friends, a lot of people are gonna be there watching. And uh, I think I'm just gonna try to keep my mind set on what I'm doing, and just forget about all the hype. Just try to go out there and just. Ride my bike like I know I can. And just if that works and I'm having fun, I know I'll do well. Bike riding is something you do with friends, and it's you ride with the people you have fun with, not the people that you compete against. So it's kind of it's kind of awesome. Yeah, we ride uh, almost every day. I mean, when there's not a contest or whatever, we ride a lot in Greenville. Just really good scene out there, and just train, you know, just learn off each other. It's awesome, man. It's nice having Ryan around and stuff. He's a great guy, a lot of energy, fun guy to ride with, and. Uh, keeps me on my toes, man, at the park. I mean, riding with Dave helps out a lot because he's pretty much a, pretty much a well-rounded rider, and that's kind of what I want to steer towards, just to where I can go out on anything and just ride it just flawlessly. And I think Dave does that really well, just goes out there and, you know, just flows around the course, grinds, whatever, technical stuff, big stuff, so. Mentally, I think Ryan's probably the strongest guy out there. I think when you get to be a little older, you start kind of questioning yourself a little more, but I think that uh, that's one thing Ryan has is a, is a strong mind, and he's never 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 questions themselves and just uh, commits to everything
guys, uh, what do you guys have in common with, uh, what do you think you have in common with other types of athletes, like other sports? Uh, it's hard to say, really. I mean, lifestyle, lifestyle definitely. I mean, I mean, like just, I mean, the guys, I guess, with the extreme stuff that go on tour, like we're all traveling a lot and on the same events a lot of the time. So I mean, definitely, you know, on the road, traveling a lot. We've actually talked about that a lot. Um, we think we agreed. We were trying to think who, like, what sport we are similar to, as far as that. And we thought, like, as a group, like Aerosmith or something, or maybe Van Halen, kind of because you know they tour a lot and stuff and. and they're pretty busy and stuff, and we tour quite a bit. Ryan especially has got a lot of contests and uh, a lot of fans. And uh, I have like four fans in my room. Um, yeah, well, Aerosmith does. That's why I was saying he, he has a lot of fans and a lot of good friends. See, I have a girlfriend, so it's it's tough. You know, I can't really say I have a lot of groupie fans, but you know, yeah, yeah. Can you turn that off? <laughs> um, no. Nah, so we were thinking, plus, you know, just a yeah, like Aerosmith man, minus the leather. Yeah, leather like, uh, pants. We wear shorts, they wear leather pants, and we do no footers on bikes, and they do splits off the stage. Like, and we'll, yeah! <laughs> you know, so it's kind of. Major guitar riffs. You know, twirling the, twirling the drums while I was spinning my bars. Yeah. <laughs> Solos, you know what I mean? Like, you'll see Eddie, you know, Van Halen on the guitar, like, <laughs> tweaking it out, and then he'll tweak out like a, you know, one footed tabletop three just cranked. You know, kind of like everybody's watching that. Major kind of like everybody's watching that guitar solo. See, I mean, you may not see. I mean, it's kind of weird, but it's we've thought about it and we've come up with that the best solution. Yeah, yeah you got to be in our situation. Yeah.